Hey guys, um, happy 2017. This is my first video uh, for the year, so I hope everyone had a happy and safe holidays. Um, so I want to take um, maybe the next few videos in a slightly different direction. I um, I just ordered online uh, my DNA Ancestry kit. I haven't even unwrapped it yet. I thought I would do it online because I've seen people do that. It's exciting. It's like I got a present in the mail, even though I paid for it. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to spend more time, I guess, myself, but sharing what I feel like is um, relevant, I guess, online. Um, but the mix, like the kind of the intersection between being a mixed race person and being a trans non-binary person and how they kind of interplay for me. So my, as far as I know, my ancestral background is my dad is like, um, for the lack of a better term, generic white guy. Um, Irish, English, Europeanness on that side. And then my mum is Anglo Indian. So that's the side I'm more interested in in terms of looking at um, being mixed race. I think like my white family history is pretty genetically boring. Um, but I'm really interested in kind of looking at the Anglo Indian side of the family, especially because um, I'm not really, really sure where a lot of my family comes from. I know that most of my family is from Kolkata in northern India. Um, that's where my grandparents were born, and that's where I've got like a, some family history stuff that someone has done. Um, and it kind of looks, everyone's kind of from the northern Indian region and then like what used to be Burma, that kind of area. Anyway, I don't really know though because um, there's no uh, birth certificates and stuff for any family members. They do like baptism certificates over there, but then like the church where my grandparents were baptized burnt down, and like it's just like really hard to find any kind of information on my Indian side of the family. Um, and so yeah, I guess having something like this is uh, like a DNA kit. Um, is not going to tell me heaps, but it, I guess, like, I've always just been really curious, um, to, like, where that Anglo-Indian side of the family, where my ancestors are from. Um, yeah, I don't actually know what this entails, so I'm going to open it. I'm excited. So, anyway, I ordered this. This is a, um, Ancestry, okay. Ancestry DNA. It comes in a groovy box. And it sent, gives me like a return um, envelope so I can like do the test and then send it back. Um, I'm really excited. Um, they're about, I think they sent me back 180 Australian dollars. So that's like a bit. <laughs> um, it was kind of my Christmas present to myself. I've always wanted one. So it comes in plastic, which is bad for the environment, DNA ancestry overpackaged. That's the first thing I can say about this, is it's really hard to open, especially when you're trying to do it off the camera. Alright. So it says, welcome to Ancestry DNA. Activate kit online. Gather DNA. I'll do that online stuff later because that's boring. They send me a little collection bag that I have to, I think I have to spit into a tube and then put it in here and then ship it back to them. I think that's the idea here. Oh wow. I don't know what this is. This looks exciting. It says, this kit is designed for the collection of human saliva samples. I might not actually do this online because I feel like spitting into this online is like not what anyone wants to see. Yeah, so it seems pretty simple. Basically I have to spit into this thing and then put it in here you know it's like a little just a little box it has instructions on it but it's an empty box so i spit into this put it into the box and then it has a self-returning envelope and then hopefully in i actually have no idea how long this will take and then hopefully soon sooner rather than later they'll send me back Uh, oh yeah, so I have to put a code on my thing. I have to activate it online and write the code on it. Spit into the tube. 
replace... Yeah. So basically, I'd have to activate an account online to get a number. And then... They, yeah, they send me these instructions. So it's all pretty easy. It seems really easy. Um, obviously, I haven't done it yet. But it looks easy. So that's that, I guess. Uh, hopefully, in a couple of weeks, I will get my results back. Um, and even though, like, whatever, at the end of the day, I know that I'm half generic white European mix and half Anglo Indian. Um, and I know that. Um, but I'm just really curious. Um, anyway, this is a really long video about nothing. So. I hope everyone is awesome and I'm going to try to make some more coherent videos this year because I'm aware that I ramble and I'm aware that I don't edit. So, New Year's resolutions. Alright, bye.